Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abe and welcome back to Local to Global on FM22 with Tunbridge Angels. We're taking on St. Albans away from home today. They're four points behind us as it stands. Last time we didn't do so well. Lost at home to Haven't and Waterlooville. As always, if you're enjoying the videos, drop a like down below and leave comments. They are the best ways to support the channel. Your question of the day today regards the African Cup of Nations. Who's your team? Like, who would you pick? to you know go on and do well in the african cup of nations as a liverpool fan we have three players out there of mine salah and Keita. So obviously i want those guys to do quite well at the same time i don't want to lose them for too long so i don't really have like a favorite team but um you know one if, if my players can go back with, with a trophy that would be nice it's not a trophy for liverpool of course but it's an individual achievement for, for our players which is always good so i guess egypt senegal guinea of course if you haven't done so already or if you're new then do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a single episode of locals global let's jump into today's video So it was a 2-1 defeat at home against Haven and Waterloo Ball last time. Toby would got an early goal for us, but then we gave away a silly penalty and then Rooney scored after that to give Haven and Waterlooville the win. And they're a good side. They're in second place, so it was going to be a tough game. But after our goal, we just didn't really do anything else. So that was a bit disappointing. I think we're looking good defensively. You know, average tackles one per game is like 84%. That's above average for the league. But when, you know, we're not conceding too many goals. We're not scoring probably enough, though. So in terms of our attacking, like our passing's pretty good. Our goals per game is pretty good, but we're not having really enough shots. We're not making many fouls. That's really good to see. Interceptions, still not quite as good. But clearances, way above average. Blocks per game, way above average. Tackles attempted per game, 22.5. The average is not is 8. The average is just under 8. That's good. Like defensively, we're, we're doing a lot. Like We've got a lot of work to do defensively, but we're actually doing it. So that's good. And let's see what happened in the games we played off camera. Six in total. Here's Loft to Tom Parkinson. And Tommy Wood with a header, but Julian gets the hands and tips it over. Well, one header by Wood. Here's Courtney Watson. And Tom Bridge have started the second half quite well, actually. Some good possession. Watson pulls it back for Ben Clark. That's a good cross. It's Turner with the header and the goal. And five, six minutes into the second half, Tunbridge lead Hampton and Richmond. Sonny Mars with a ball forward. Townsend West with a header and here's Hanks. And it's Myrtle Williams now. Warwick and Ollie Coker just outside the 18-yard box. A nice strike. And 42nd minute, Chippenham lead at Longmead Stadium. Clark, Tunbridge need to get back into this game. They are trailing at home. That's a good ball for Wood, though. And Wood beats the goalkeeper. They've got the equaliser. 69th minute. Tommy Wood with the goal. He's pl getting plenty this season. I think that's his 10th. Paul to Marsh Brown. And Brown trying to take it out wide. That's a good cross, but fielding with a foul on Magoma and a penalty conceded in the 8th minute. Jack Magoma stepping up for this penalty for Hemel Hempstead. And he's beating the goalkeeper. It was a good penalty. And eight minutes in, Hemel Hempstead take a lead. A bad start by the Angels. Wester's duty sends it long. All the way up for Tommy Woods here. And he's headed it back to Ben Clark. And Woods got behind the defence and equalises. Ten minutes gone. It's 1-1. Tunbridge reply after giving away the early penalty. And Tommy Wood gets another goal. Here's Paul. Carruthers to Marsh Brown. And Hines with a good finish, 19th minute, and Hemel Hempstead retake the lead. Good finish by Hines, and Tunbridge trail again. Fielding to Ben Clark. That's a great ball for Joe Turner, and he's turned, and that's a lovely finish as well by Turner. Great assist by Ben Clark, and a really good turn and finish by Ben Turner, and it's 2-2. Simpson with a throw to Morgan Griffiths. Simpson with it back, he's got a lot of space here. Gleason. And Simpson with it back again here. Finds the cross. Oh, well, Wester Stuti palms it straight into the path of Freddie Hines and Hemway Hempstead. Take a 3-2 lead in the first minute of the stoppage time. Well, the Angels did manage to win against the leaders. And it's a good start to the game here. Tommy Wood puts the ball in the net for the Angels with 50 seconds played inside a minute. Tunbridge leads Slough Town. Turner. Could this be a second goal here? We're not even two minutes into the game here. And Tunbridge are already looking to double their lead. It's Ricky Modest. Can he find the ball there? It's Ben Clark. It's a volley. It's 2-0. 
two minutes on the clock and the Angels are already 2-0 up. What a start to this game. Harris to Scarlett. And McLean gives the ball back to Scarlett. That's a cross. And it's Fabio Lopez who gets there first in the 12th minute. Slough get a goal back. It's now 2-1. They're finally woken up. Here's Grant. And an interception there by Jamie Fielding. Here's Woods to Parkinson. And Ben Clark. And he sends through Tommy Wood. He's gotten behind the defence. The tackle doesn't come off. And he's beaten the keeper. And Tunbridge restore their two-goal cushion. It's 3-1. And Wood gets his second of the game. 38 minutes gone. Oh, Fielding gave the ball away cheaply there. And it's now Slough on the attack again. And the ball up for Lopez. Can he beat the goalkeeper? He can. Oh, no. Brian Barrett's put it into his own net. It's 3-2 with an hour gone. Deary me. Reynolds with a throw. Cracknell. Reynolds with it back again. Ekpiteta with the finish. And it's a goal for Concord Rangers. Last minute of the first half. Brandon Webb with a throw to Ben Clark. Parkinson to Tom Beer. And the ball finds Wood over the top. Oh, and the keeper dived out of the way of the ball. Tommy Wood gets another goal. 55 minutes gone. It's Concord 1, Tunbridge 1. Tom Beer with the corner kick here. And Wood with the header. The set piece goal comes off. The Angels lead. Second minute of stoppage time. It's 1 0 in this FA Trophy replay. Woods, oh, he's hit the bar and Modest hits the post afterwards as well. That should be 2-0. Some good results there. I think the biggest one was beating the leaders away from home. That was a big result against Hampton and Richmond. Let's look at the stats from that one. We won one goal to nil uh, with Turner getting the only goal. It was only two shots on target. And Ham Ham Hamilton, Hampton just couldn't get the ball in the net. 27 shots. They just couldn't find the net. And we won 1-0. Uh, FA Trophy, we got through to the third round. We beat Corkham Rangers in the replay. We've got Oxford City in round three. And in the league table, we're in 14th place. We're one of five teams on 19 points. So a win... And a good result could see us go into the top half and maybe as high as ninth. Now, Repellents today are some Albans. They're four points behind us and they've only won one of their last five. We've won two in our last five and only lost two. So, yeah, the form's been better. Biggest change in the team is that John Henley is now playing in goal. Wester's duty has, for the most part, been fine, but he does have a mistake in him, as you saw against the Hemel Hempstead. He basically gave them the game in stoppage time by palming the ball straight into the path of their striker. So Wester's duty is, uh, for now, dropped, and Jonathan Henley is playing in goal. We have got a few tired players out there because we just have had that uh, replay. So I think we're going to have to make some changes today. I think Smith-Joseph will start left wing. I think once we do get into some money, uh, we can hopefully get another left winger because we definitely need someone better than Smith-Joseph as an um, alternative for Joe Turner. But we have no wage budget whatsoever at the moment. We can't even sign non-contracts because we can't afford appearance fees even. Courtney Watson twisted his ankle in the win over Slouse. He's unavailable out for a couple of weeks. So Tom Beer is going to play on the right wing with Ricky Modest in need of a rest. Jamie O'Hara places Tom Parkinson in defensive midfield. McNabb playing alongside Doug Loft. It's going to be a tough away game, but let's see if we can uh, get another positive result here. Rain is pouring down here in St Albans, but hopefully it will not affect us too much. We do play quite direct, so I feel like that would kind of favour us rather than like a short passing style. So, you know, that might play into our hands, but we will see. Smith-Joseph on the ball. And it's Jamie O'Hara. Only a minute into this game, and we are seeing some action in these early stages. Fielding on the ball, and he's lost out. And it's a Jeffers now to Scott. And Aaron Kinali, the guy now for St. Albans. And he finds the cross, and it's a header. Oh, wow, wow. Double save by Henley. That's great. 90 seconds in, and, you know, we've already had to make a double save, but... Yeah, good goalkeeping, I'd say that much. Here's Tommy Woods, 23 and a half minutes into the game. We haven't had a shot at goal yet, so, you know, we just try and get a bit further forward. We have got the work of the ball into the box on. Here's Woods. This might be the goal here. It is. Tommy Woods scores 14th of the season. He is the man at the moment in front of goal. He's scoring, I think, every game. And we take a 1-0 lead, 24th minute of the game, and it was our first shot as well. Um, I was looking for a bit of possession. I've got work the ball into the box on, but we are still playing um, a fairly direct style. Tommy Woods takes the ball away from his feet, beats the goalkeeper, and we lead 1-0. Here's Tom Beer playing as a slightly deeper winger today than uh, Watson or Modest would be, but he is more of a centre mid than he is a wide man. And uh, McNabb playing as well in midfield. No need to try and 
get these guys some game time. If they're not going to play, I might as well terminate their contracts because they're on non-contracts. Here's Doug Loft. That's a great ball for Smith Joseph. It's 2-0. 30th minute, half an hour in, and we've doubled our lead. Two goals in about five or six minutes there. And Smith Joseph gets, I think, his first goal of the season. I wasn't reading. I think that's his first of the season. Of course, our left man is usually Joe Turner. He's our best player in our squad. But um, Smith Joseph, look at this for a ball by Douglas. The great through ball. Smith Joseph reads it like a book. Great anticipation. And we double our lead. It's uh, St. Albans coming forward now. And it's another good save by uh, Joe Henley. He's you know, he's going to keep us to suit at the team if he's playing like this. He's had a really good first half here. Three big saves. Smith Joseph, scorer of that second goal. Here's Loft. He's got players to go back to if he needs them. Instead, he goes forward and gives it away. Not great. It's Akinola to Goddard. And Noble now. And the ball out wide for Aaron Canali. Goes back to Bender. And Scott with the header. Jeffers is there first. Oh, the, oh what a block that was. Who was that? Who was that? I thought this was I thought this was 2-1 here. Was it this guy? Was was it um Arthur Lee? Let's look at this again. Keeper went for it. Arthur Lee with a massive block there. Henley went for the ball, didn't get it. But Arthur Lee saving the day. What a block that was. Can we defend the corner now? Oh, well, it's again, it's another big save by Henley. Okay, half time. Somehow we're two and a lot despite having only two shots on target. St. Albans doing very much like Hampton and Richmond did, having possession, but just not being able to put the ball in there. XG of 2.3, and they haven't scored yet. I'm going to guard against complacency, though, because, you know, we, yeah, we're 2 0 up, but we really don't deserve to be. Definitely need to think about those sort of changes. Um, I'm going to drop it onto balanced as well, just to see if we can. Just hold hold firm with this 2-0 lead. I think we are going to now take off Beer and bring on Ricky Modest. I'm also going to give Tommy Wood a rest and put Olatade on up front. And he's more of a pressing forward, so he's going to be a bit more defence-minded. Pressing forward support. Can we hold on for three points here? It's still 2-0. Somehow St. Albans haven't scored in this game. But Henley's been the difference maker in goal. He's made three or four important saves in this game and there's 15 minutes to go this second half is flying by and that's not good news smith joseph off injures oh god what do we do now all right given that we don't have a great deal of options on the bench we have no more attacking options jerry o'sullivan's going to come on at right back uh, and we're going to go to a back five just try and hold on for 15 minutes or so we could go counter attacking as well but i think we'll just keep things as they are I'm amazed this is still 2 0. The fact that St. Albans haven't scored here is just unbelievable. Two minutes to go. And we're now into, well, the last minute of the 90. There's five minutes of injury time. And that's a cross. And Jeffers heads over. All right, looks like we've got through stoppage time. And it's a 2 0 win. Really, really good result. Again, not at our best. Probably didn't deserve it, but. St. Albans couldn't put the ball in the net and they got punished for it. 2 0 win. Wood and Smith Joseph with goals within six minutes of each other. Really good three points once again. Again, probably not deserved, but I'm taking it. Henley, was it 8.1? I think deservedly so, man of the match there. So, with that, we've actually jumped like three places up to 11th. We're one of four teams on 22 points. We're actually a, we're a point off the playoff places. It's not saying much a quarter of the way through the season or a third of the way through the season, but we're. We're doing well. I'm really pleased how we're doing. So, Welling is our next game. It's at home. Then we host Oxford City in the FA Trophy. Then we have Concord Rangers. Then we have Dulwich Hamlet. And then Braintree. Billerecke Town, I think, will be our next uh, our next stop uh, next time. And then after that, we go through everybody again, starting with Dartford. Uh, we'll definitely make sure we get the Maidstone game on camera. Tummage Maidstone is a bit of a derby in Kent. So, we'll definitely get that uh, on camera. So, next episode, we'll do Billerecke Town. And the one after that, I think we'll do Maidstone United. And then we'll see where we go from there. But a good a good three points there today. Um, we didn't look great, but we got three points. That's really, really important. I don't care how we get them. We need points as and when we can get them at the moment. 22 from 15 is pretty good going. And this is a side expected to be you know, battling against relegation, predicted to finish second bottom. We are exceeding that by far. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and leave comments. The other best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn notifications on. And uh, next episode, uh, what did we say we were going to do? Billerecke Town. That's who. Uh, they're predicted sixth, and they're just three points behind us. So we'll see where they end up uh, once we've played our next five games. Welling, Oxford, Concord, Dulwich, and Braintree are next five. 
next episode we host with the Red K Town. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.